morning, everybody. So the response to these little moving meditations has been awesome. So thank you for all your feedback, which tells me that this is what people are needing and craving is just some movement, move the energy in your body. So again, the purpose of moving the spine like this, pausing and breathing is that you are opening up those pathways. You're moving that chi, that dormant kundalini energy. So whether you want to meditate or believe that it's necessary for you or not, if you move and connect your breath and then sit in stillness, you will feel a different sensation in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. So let's just take a few breaths in sitting. Ruben, get away from the chair. Don't get. It's me talking to my dog. So closing the eyes, you wanna be in a comfortable seat. Feet are grounded. Spine is sitting as tall as you can in your posture. None of this should cause any discomfort. All of this should feel good. So move within a range that is comfortable for your body. Let's take a few big breaths in. Feel your entire torso expand. So visualize the diaphragm expanding, the belly, the chest, feel the back side of your ribs, even your spine expanding and opening. And then just softening and relaxing on the exhales. Let's take a few of our Pilates breaths. So on your inhale, you're going to imagine expanding more so east to west or right to left and backwards. So imagine your spine having dinosaur spikes on it and you're trying to breathe in every direction. On your exhale, give me more of a shh purse lip and get that lifting sensation from your pelvic floor. So if you imagine your pelvic floor kind of laying in a relaxed or lengthened state, you're gonna think of narrowing and lifting, not by squeezing the butt, but just by a little internal lift. And you wanna keep that sensation as we start to move and breathe. So you're letting it go, you're connecting it. You are gonna root into the feet a little bit more because this is a gyrokinesis, so there is a bit more of a lift. This will try to keep that deep inner core working as well. So let's start with our rock. So imagine the rock just stemming from below the navel and probably mid sacrum in the back body. And feel this rock equal from front to back. Again, nothing should cause any discomfort. So you're moving through your comfort range and then let it travel up to maybe the base of the sternum and just in between the base or tip of your shoulder blades. And then let it rise up again to the throat. So feeling the back of the neck and the front of the throat. Let the head gently follow this. Let's take our breath into our HA sound now. We're going to open the legs with it and close. My children sound like a tribe upstairs coming to hunt me. And let's do about four more. stillness, sitting tall, ground the feet, palms down for grounding, palms up for receiving energy, and take a few breaths in stillness. Just noticing, sensing, feeling the body, a little shift of energy, feeling the energy heighten off the skin, the legs may even feel different. So we're gonna play with a little um, side shift. So we've gone into some rotation or spirals. We did a little side arc. So I just want you to feel your sits bones and just start with shifting to the right sits bone, shifting to the left sits bone, and just feeling the shift this way. 
Okay, and then you're gonna let that travel up the spine. So the ribs will have a greater ability to move because that's where our spine has more freedom here at um, thoracic lumbar junction. So you're gonna feel like you can move a bit more here. And then let it travel up to the shoulders and let it start to create more of a wave effect. And if you want the arms to come up in space, you can to these little I Dream of Genie arms. You can reach your arms out to a T. And the feeling that we're creating here is almost like your um, seaweed in the water. Okay, feeling this lateral shift from the sits bone through the ribs, through the shoulder, let the head float through and then go the other way. Let's breathe with this. And we'll count down. Four, three, two, one. Let's reach up and over. Take this into a nice big side stretch. Drop the shoulder, press through the palms, breathe in. And just take that to the other side, sweeping up and over. Lift, create space, shift the ribs, breathe in. And just coming back up tall, pause and breathe. Ready? Let's just go into a basic twist. So just spiraling, spiraling. We're just going to take this on an even rhythm today. Opposite palm pressing into um, inner thigh, inner thigh pressing back. Feel that spiral continuing, swirling up the spine as your physical body comes into stillness. Ground through the sits bones, ground through the feet, floating up through the crown. Feeling your breath come and go. Feel your breath naturally expanding each time you pause as well. You should feel like it's easier to breathe as you open and move. We're going to go through our final flow, our larger arch and curl, coming through, scooping back. So you're going to open up. You're going to let the pelvis lead. You're going to stay long, long, long. Now lead back from the tailbone as you pull the knees in, push the sacrum back, and curl through. sitting nice and tall, finding stillness, feet flat, rooting down through the earth, sits bones rooting down, palms down or up. Come back to a calm rhythm of the breath, it's breathing out through the nose. Feeling the entire torso expand, including the belly. And visualize breathing in, positive, light, energy, thoughts, happiness, comfort, and exhaling away, ridding yourself, your body, your mind, of anything that no longer serves you purpose. 